I stand before you today to address a critical issue that has long been debated and demands our urgent attention, the reform of the United Nations Security Council. As we gather here, we are reminded of the world's evolving challenges and the pressing need for a council that is more representative, more inclusive and effective in maintaining global peace and security. Colleagues, you may agree with me that the current composition of the Security Council no longer aligns with the realities of our interconnected and multipolar world. The council structure, designed in a different era, does not reflect the rise of new powers, the shifting geopolitical landscape and the aspirations of nations striving for a fairer and more equitable global order. So what do we do? Well, geopolitical realities demand that we embrace change. Embrace change and adapt to the dynamics of the 21st century. The inclusion of emerging economies and regions with growing political influence is not just a matter of fairness. It is a pragmatic necessity. It is time to recognize the contributions of countries who have demonstrated their ability to foster peace, promote development, and tackle global challenges. By expanding the Security Council's membership in both the categories, permanent and non-permanent, we can enhance its legitimacy, credibility, and effectiveness. More voices at the table mean a broader range of perspectives, experiences, and expertise to guide decision-making processes. Such inclusivity would foster greater trust greater trust among member states, improve the implementation of resolutions, and ensure that the Council's actions enjoy wider support and acceptance. Moreover, regional representation is crucial. The Security Council should reflect the diversity of our world and provide equal opportunities for all regions to participate in shaping global peace and security. Africa, Latin America, and other regions have a wealth of insights and experiences that must be fully integrated into our deliberations. Their engagement would contribute to a more comprehensive understanding of the complex challenges that we face, allowing us to craft more effective solutions. The urgency of reform is also underscored by the unprecedented global challenges that transcend borders. Climate change, terrorism, pandemics and humanitarian crises require collective efforts and shared responsibilities. A reformed Security Council would enable us to pool resources, expertise and perspectives from a wider range of countries, empowering us empowering us to confront these issues with greater effectiveness and unity. No less than 73 heads of state and government at UNGA 77 last year were in agreement, as you would all recall, on the pressing need for reform. Ladies and gentlemen, in closing, I will say that the time for Security Reform Council is now. Let us seize this opportunity to revitalize and strengthen the United Nations by making it more inclusive, more representative, more responsive to the needs and aspirations of all member states. Together, let us build a council that truly embodies the principles of fairness, equity and multilateralism upon which the United Nations was founded. The world needs a reformed multilateralism that reflects today's realities, gives voices to all stakeholders, addresses contemporary challenges and focuses on human welfare. With that, I will now hand over the podium to our colleague from Brazil, Ambassador Joao, and then to the think tankers Samir and Matthias and Gustavo, whose ideas, we hope, will bring fresh blood and new thinking to the table. Thank you.